you get organized with your pipeline, you will begin to close more clients. Hey everyone, welcome to another video with Maria Went. Today we're talking about how to sell more. Three specific sales strategies you can implement in order to get more clients and make more money, right? If you're new here, well, my name is Maria Wendt and I help female entrepreneurs get more clients online. So here on this channel, we talk about things like making more money, marketing our online business, getting more clients, basically everything we need to do in order to grow our business, make more money. If this is something you're interested in, if you'd like to stick around, uh, just simply click the subscribe button to get more videos on how to make more money, how to get more clients, how to grow your online business. So. Today we're talking about how to get more clients, how to get more sales without being a sleazeball. I'm gonna give you three specific things that you can implement in order to get more sales without feeling the need to be salesy, be spammy, do anything that doesn't feel amazing to both us and our ideal clients. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Tip number one is to have a clear, organized pipeline. What that means is you need to say, okay, so what is the process from the minute someone reaches out to potentially work with me all the way until they're a closed client with the contract signed and the invoice paid, what does that process look like? What are the stages that it needs to get broken down into? And how long is each person typically in each stage? The minute you get organized with your pipeline, you will begin to close more clients. You're not gonna have follow-ups written down on little scraps of paper or um, you know f different processes for different people. Now, if you wanna work with me to get a clear, organized process, that's something I help my clients do is I help them create an efficient, proven process to take someone from, hmm, that might be cool, I love what you do, tell me more, to okay, I'm in, where, where do I make the payment, right? Part of my program, Get More Clients, it helps you create a clear, organized, strategic pipeline so you're working smarter, not harder. The main takeaway is that you need to have a clear, organized pipeline in order to increase your sales. The second thing that you need to do is you need to sort, not sell. You think you have to be this amazing salesperson closing all these sales and making all this money and oh my gosh, I have a phone call. Better close her as a client because who knows when the next lead is coming. That's scarcity mindset. Instead, what you need to do is consider your job to be a sorter. You sort, you don't sell. What I mean by that is you sort the leads that are a good fit for you from the ones who aren't a good fit and you simply tell them that. Hey, I don't think we're a good fit. I'm gonna send you on your merry way. So you need to sort, don't sell. Consider your job as not someone that's, oh my gosh, this is my, my sales post and I'm gonna ram it down your throat until you choke on it. No, that doesn't feel good to anyone. This is sales without being spammy, sales without being sleazy. Instead, consider your job as, okay, I'm hopping on the phone, and I'm saying, are we, we're a good fit? I love it if we're a good fit, but I don't need it to be. I'm not going to f force you to do something you don't want to do. I'm not going to pressure you with high sales, you know, high pressure sales tactics. That's not what this is about. So your job is going to be to sort, don't sell. Your job is to simply sort the good leads from the bad ones. Sort the people who would be a good fit for you from the ones who won't be a good fit for you. Not a high pressure sales job. We're not gonna you know, force someone to purchase from us. We're not gonna force them to pull out their credit card. We're gonna simply help identify the people who are a good fit for us from the people who aren't. It's sorting, not selling. Finally, the third thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give them what they want. So instead of you throwing spaghetti at the wall, hoping your program will sell or hoping your package will sell, just sort of crossing your fingers and hoping it'll work, you're gonna actually ask your clients what it is they need. Ask them, what are you struggling with? What do you need help with? Instead of creating a program and hoping that it will sell or creating a package and hoping it will sell, you're gonna pause, you're gonna ask your clients what it is they want, what it is they need, and then you're gonna create a package or program around what it is they want. You will sell more without being sleazy, without being spammy, simply because you've identified what it is they want and you're giving it to them. So to recap, tip number one, get yourself a clear, organized pipeline. No more writing notes down on an agenda book or little scraps of paper. You're gonna get organized, you're gonna get structured, and you're gonna get strategic with your pipeline. Second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna sort, not sell. No more shoving down these old scripts down their throat, trying to forcing them to sell. You're going to actually sort the good leads from the bad leads. Think of yourself as a doctor. You know, Do they need to go to this room? Do they need to go to this room? Do they need this test? Sort, don't sell. And thirdly, you're going to give them what they want. So spend time actually asking them what it is they want, what it is they need, rather than hoping 
that what it is you're offering is what it is they want. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, what I want you to do is click the little like button. It really does help grow our tiny baby community of female entrepreneurs who are making more money in their business. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. If you would like to see some of the results that I've gotten from my clients, all you have to do is go to mariawent.com after the website loads, simply click on the success stories page and choose which story you'd like to read. When you click on one, you're going to see who the client was, what the problem was, what the solution was, and the results we've gotten. In this case, we doubled Crystalline's income after she enrolled in my program. You could also check out what it would look like to work with me and access some of the free stuff I have, including some trainings to help you get more clients. Hope you enjoy it.